churches started gathering and we've actually had like multiple, I would say revivals. People are really hopeless because the COVID and have, I think, come to face that hopelessness and it's leaving them like very open to the gospel in a way that I don't think, I don't think many people were before. My name is Katie Grindle and I started coming to BCC when I was probably 14 or 15 in my freshman year of high school and I came up in the youth group and now I live in North Philly and I work for Young Life. I think that I didn't know what a gift it was, like the kind of community that we had um, in high school. I didn't like regain that kind of community until this year really. Um, but it's something that I've held on to, like it's like a memory that I've held on to um, for many years. And I think based on that experience, like when I'm um, with my kids now, I have four or five kids that are starting to have that kind of community with each other. It helps me to speak into that more directly and be like, this is good for you. I'm helping to restart ministry at Esperanza Charter High School and Middle School, a school that um, it's not Christian, but it has Christian roots. And we're trying to restart clubs, so having an, an event that's bi-weekly close to the school where any kid can come, they can play games, they can eat pizza, and then they'll hear a leader who's been working in their school um, tell them about Jesus in, in a way that connects with their story and the story of the leader. I have one ninth grade boy um, named Easy, and like I see so much leadership potential in him. And it's kind of funny now, like even knowing Jeremy and like Josh, they were like spunky, punky, like ninth grade boys, and now they're like leaning in the church. So I think it reminds me of like the value of young people, and that we had older adults who really invested in us and like saw our potential and just our value at that time. Like I remember Donna Nettleton just really spending time like sharing scripture with me. One of my prayers is that we will eventually have like a really sturdy generation of leaders that are from the neighborhoods that um, are staying and they are leading in the schools that they went to. That is better than anything I can like build with my own skills.